Hello, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Front Mission. Alright, so we have uh, finished that last mission, and we've been called over to go take care of this uh, unexpected turn of events with uh, JJ and Keith. But uh, before we leave, I just wanted to note that, of course, uh, Molly is on our team now, and I've given her the Clinton prototype. Uh, not because it's necessarily the best thing, but because um, I think it'll, you know, it'll kind of do the job against these enemies, and um, I don't really want to grind for a bunch of cash in the arena at the moment. I'd rather get this mission over with, considering that it's supposedly not a very difficult one. As far as I can remember, it's not that hard. Um, so yeah, let's uh, go ahead and check this out. So, Molly has betrayed us. That's what we get for trusting her, apparently. And she's off doing her thing over there, I guess. Uh, so, whatever. So, heck with her. Let's get going with Natalie. I want to move her first because she's by far slowest unit. Um, well, this is an odd situation because of all these this tree line here. I think it might make sense to move up here. up. And yeah, our missile launcher guys can just uh, hang back a little bit. Stay there for the moment. So these USN troops are kind of losing it. Probably going to come after us soon. Oh, here they are. So fortunately, they've walked right into our Clinton. And not the type that loses elections. Right. Instead, it's the type that blows your arm off.
just gotta get out there. guys are way too high level. Come on, Kong. get you to hang back a little bit and yeah our truck ain't going to be doing much on this map just because the terrain is so rough to death. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> are, are you? Are, are you really? I think I made a mistake in giving her that uh, Clinton prototype. For some, some reason, I thought it would be more viable than it actually is. Should have just given her, like, the lowest mobility legs in the entire game. And, uh, that way it kept her back from the fight. Alright. So you... To full life here. Did we get Kong into the fight here? Nope. The answer is nope. guy. Uh, no, but still did pretty well. Still racking up those levels. That's the sort of thing I wanted to see from uh, that rifle from the start. I don't know, maybe 
Paul goes up here to help a little bit. Why can't I attack these guys? What's going on? There we go. Oh, what? Huh. Well, okay. GG involved. Just because he's too high level. Really don't need to give the experience to Yuji here.
the enemies left. There's still a lot of them back here. This is kind of a larger map than I feel like it really needs to be. experience, but kind of felt like it was better to get that guy out of the way. That's how you do it. I feel like that's kind of a wasted missile, so I'm not going to do that. Too good. He's just too good. He's a machine.
That was a misclick. I could have used the full guard. Oh, please attack me, yeah. Definitely happy to counterattack. A lot of fuss for 10 experience, but whatever. guys don't really give any experience. Kind of okay with just nailing them with JJ.
Good. That's what I want to see. Honestly, somebody else should get this kill, somebody who needs the experience bar, but my troops are so spread out at this point that I'd rather just get this over with. That can wait. about this guy up here. for Natalie. Thing sure is slow, but when it catches the enemies, they go down quick. So we get to see that Royd is dealing with his guilt and Molly is dealing with her grief. I don't think we get too much more of this in the game, but uh, you know it does show that um, Royd definitely, uh, aside from wanting to find Karen, also does feel uh, responsible for the Larkus incident and the uh, Lark Valley incident that followed. Because he, yeah, he feels sort of like he's the one person that this whole conflict um, derived from. But we'll see that... Well, we know that's not true. <laughs> we know that there is a shadowy force in, in the background manipulating these events to no good end. And uh, we will see how that sort of story wraps up um, as we continue playing. 
but for now, I'm going to wrap up this episode, and uh, next time, I think we still have one more mission with Roy before we go back over to Kevin's side of things. So I will see you then.